Today, Precarious plays Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. <laughs> You're not nice. I don't like you. <laughs> and New Kid's like, yeah, that's kind of my whole deal. <laughs> uh, I'm New Kid, motherfucker. I'm a bit of an asshole. You know, I I'd say that like we're building up like lore for this character. Yeah. Like uh, this personality. Yeah. Um, but I, it's it's there. I, I barely think it's subtext. Yeah. <laughs> He's kind of a douche. I I think that he probably does uh -huh. not contain the malice we attribute to him, but he is definitely enough of an idiot to cause this much trouble. Yeah. Like, he's like, no, I want to keep my ice cream. Not out of wanting to deny ice cream to other people, not out of wanting to start a fight, just because he wants all the ice cream. What's the problem? It's his ice cream. Yeah, but he doesn't even want ice cream. He just doesn't want anyone else to have ice cream. I don't know if that's because true. Because he's lactose intolerant. I don't know if that's true. That's, no, I... That's the part that you're manufacturing. I keep going back to that, that moment early in the game. Mm-hmm. When everybody laughed at New Kid and New Kid was just like, just cold silence. I think he just wants to tear it all down because he's a sad, picked on kid, and that doesn't he he he's so distressed that he can't even accept the good thing that's happened to him—a new chance in a new life where he gets to be a fucking superhero. Hmm. I think that, that time to kill this bomb. <laughs> yeah, that definitely. Falls into. I don't know. I think that there's enough of it there that you can make an argument for it, but I don't think that that was necessarily intended. Hmm. No, I think what was probably intended is it was supposed to parallel the doing what's right, even when. Like, staying true to yourself and doing what you believe to be right, even when soci society, excuse me, even when society and the people around you are saying that it's wrong, which is what the protagonist of Final Fantasy Tactics was about. Yeah. I just really strongly disagree with what the developers decided was right in the scenario. Mm-hmm. Because, like, that's what it comes down to, is I think that they're, they're making a poor argument and they're on the wrong side of the argument to begin with. Yeah, I think that it's also weird that it's not more of a struggle for him. Like, he never he never thinks twice about it. He's just like, no, I'm just gonna smash all this shit and then go home. No, I did, like, you saw me. Everyone saw, right? Yeah. I disabled control, okay. Yes. The control law. Hey, I have a question for you. Yeah. Generic characters. Like... And that's, that's proper G. Capital G, proper noun, generic characters. Do you really think that they're necessary for strategy games like this in Disgaea? And just to be clear for everyone, when I say generic characters, I mean New Kid is a unique character for the capital U. Conceta is a generic character. There's nothing that distinguishes Kinsetta, really, other than, like, numbers and the randomly assigned name. There's nothing that distinguishes her from Mel, save for what... What you what you guys have gone through. Yeah, what I have applied to her. And it, that's what it's like in Disgaea. And this contrasts with... Um, Fire Emblem, for example, where every character you recruit is a specific person with a background and at least like a couple characters of characterization. So Sane is always going to be a rascal. Yeah. And Kent is always going to be upright and knightly. Um, Hector is always going to be a meathead that proves himself to be competent. So do you think that the ability to create generic characters is important and a worthwhile investment, or do you think it would be better if, even if it was just light characterization, if everybody available in Final Fantasy Tactics Advance, if they were all like New Kid and Mont Blanc and Ritz, mm. and there were just like a few different, like three or four people from every race that you could you could play with? Mm. 
I think that my answer to that as almost everything is, well, it depends. That is a lame answer. I'm going to elaborate, okay. though. <laughs> Obviously. I'm not going to just clam up like, eh. That was the humanity <laughs> of answers. Right middle ground, sort of boring, no extraordinary statistics. I mean, we could get used to anything, so whatever. I only recruited that answer okay. so I could dispatch it on missions that were human exclusive. <laughs> In the defense of generic characters, it does allow somebody who is not finding a character, a unique character in the game already to identify with. It does allow them to engage better with the game. Do it. If they project a little bit. Damn it. So I'm on board for generic characters because of that. The other thing that is good about generic characters, I think, is the fact that they deliver, they, I don't know how to put this exactly. Pause for just a second so I can point out that tragically, and this yeah. is a fucking shame, New Kid be just became one of the best healers we'll ever have. Oh! It's a crime, I know. That is how useful so he's awful. becoming. Because White Wind is a very cheap AoE heal that, get this, <clears throat> it heals everyone affected for HP equal to your current HP. Mm hmm. So he can now heal everyone for 12 MP. He can heal everyone, uh, like, uh, up to five people, mm -hmm. hypothetically, um, if you arrange them just so, for 151 HP. <laughs> Holy crap, your numbers are all three digits. I mean, like, that's... That is potentially a full heal on Most. almost the entire party. And the trick is that now he is able, even if he gets down to half hit points, uh -huh. he can still immediately full heal, full heal himself by the nature of the spell. Oh. Wait, does that mean that you can comically explode places, or? No, because it it will, um, even with the angel ring, I think it will bring him up with just a tiny fraction of his maximum uh. HP. Like, that's the trick. As long as he, basically, as long as he stays above half HP, and I still have a little bit of MP left, he can be invincible. People have to like gang up on him to really make make much of an impact now. Okay, so back to generic characters for a second. Yes. Because of the job system in this game and because of the type of story it's telling, I think that they are good in this game because it really puts you in control of your little mercenary crew. Um in a way that you have to really take responsibility for all of these people around you. So I think in this game, it's essential just because of the level of attention that people expect you to have with these characters and the wide, wide, wide availability of skills and jobs they can have throughout the course of their like little careers. I think that that level of customization really makes you feel more like a director of battles. So you don't think that there's any number of non-generic units that they could have included that would uh, have satisfied the majority of players? I Because think, really, I think could, it would have been a waste of time. You think that it would have been a waste of time to just say like... To try to get enough covered instead of just giving people names and then letting people take over with the job system. It would be a waste of time. I feel like... <clears throat> You're probably right. Whenever I look at Fire Emblem, especially the one that we've beaten on precarious plays... Yeah. Um... I look at, like, the number of Cavaliers and Paladins... And I think that was an excessive number of Cavaliers and Paladins to include. Yeah. 
Um, but I think that it's supposed to allow you a lot of leeway. And when I think about trying to take everybody, like let's say if so everybody came with one sentence along with their name. Right, which I think was actually true in the Japanese release of Final Fantasy Tactics, I, I want to point out. Okay, so let's say... Uh, I think. What would you include in that sentence? Would it be like a dating profile or would it be like where they came from and what they were doing? Would it be their education? Like what what would it be? And how could that possibly not inform how you take them through the job system? Because that will make you have a predisposition to say either subverting their origins or going along with them. It gets you already thinking about where they came from, so you're not as free to make decisions about their career path as you are with nothing but a name and a species. I don't know. I think that <clears throat> there was a quite a bit of background included for all of the heroes in most of the endless games. Yeah. Oops. I think this is an oops. I don't think I had a mission here. Yeah. But some shit is going down. We'll come back tomorrow. Okay. And resolve the shit that is going down. 